The Paris Institute of Political Studies French, Institut d'études politiques de Paris, French pronunciation, s, t, ti de dot tid p dot li dot tic d par, i, commonly referred to as Sciences Po French pronunciation, sjs po, is a prestigious and influential academic institution in the social sciences in France legally a grande école. It was founded in 1872 to promote a new class of French politicians in the aftermath of the French defeat in the Franco-Prussian War of 1871, and remains the primary institution of higher learning for French political and administrative elite. Sciences Po alumni include 32 heads of state or government, seven of the past eight French presidents, three past heads of the International Monetary Fund, heads of international organizations including the UN, WTO, IMF and ECB, and six of the CAC 40 CEOs. The school has also educated numerous intellectual and cultural figures, such as Marcel Proust, René Remond, Paul Claudel, and Raymond Aron. In 2018, it was ranked as the world's fourth best school for politics and international relations. Sciences Po undertook an ambitious reform agenda starting in the mid 1990s, which broadened its focus to prepare students for the private sector put an emphasis on the internationalization of the school's curriculum and student body, and established a special admission process for underprivileged applicants. It also expanded outside Paris by establishing additional campuses in Dijon, Le Havre, Mentone, Nancy, Poitiers, and Reims. The institution is a member of the Association of Professional Schools of International Affairs and the Global Public Policy Network. History Topic. 1872–1945, École libre des sciences politiques Sciences Po was established in February 1872 as the École libre des sciences politiques by a group of French intellectuals, politicians and businessmen led by Émile Boutmy, and including Hippolyte Tyne, Ernest Renan, Albert Sorel and Paul Leroy Bewley. Following defeat in the 1870 war, the demise of Napoleon III, and the Paris Commune, these men sought to reform the training of French politicians. Politically and economically, people feared France's international stature was waning due to inadequate teaching of its political and diplomatic core. ELSP was meant to serve as the breeding ground where nearly all the major, non-technical state commissioners were trained." New disciplines such as international relations, international law, political economy and comparative government were introduced. In August 1894, the British Association for the Advancement of Science spoke out for the need to advance the study of politics along the lines of ELSP. Sidney and Beatrice Webb used the purpose and curriculum of Sciences Po as part of their inspiration for creating the London School of Economics in 1895. ELSP proved very successful at preparing candidates for entry into senior civil service posts, and acquired an image as a major feature of France's political system. From 1901 to 1935, 92.5% of entrants to the Grand Corps de l'État, which comprises the most powerful and prestigious administrative bodies in the French civil service, had studied there. This figure includes people who took civil service examination preparatory classes at Sciences Po but did not earn a degree. Topic: 1945. The École libre des sciences politiques becomes Sciences Po. 
Sciences Po underwent significant reforms in the aftermath of France's liberation from Nazi occupation in 1945. The humiliation of France's surrender to Nazi Germany and moreover the collapse of the Vichy regime provided the impetus for a major restructuring of the state's institutions. Charles de Gaulle, as leader of France's provisional government, appointed Michel Debray to overhaul of the recruiting and training of public servants. Though eight of thirteen ministers in de Gaulle's government were Sciences Po alumni, the university had also been instrumental in training the class of leaders who many accused of having given in to Nazi aggression. Communist politicians including Georges Cognet proposed abolishing the ELSP entirely and founding a new state-run administration college on its premises. Debre proposed the compromise that was eventually adopted. First, the government established the École Nationale d'Administration an elite postgraduate college for training government officials. From then on, the Grand Corps de l'État were obliged to recruit new entrants exclusively from the ENA's graduates. In 1945, the École Libre des Sciences Politiques was restructured into two separate legal entities, the Institut d'études politiques and the Fondation Nationale des Sciences Politiques Though legally a public institution, it was to be managed by a private trust. The newly established Foundation Nationale des Sciences Politiques, English National Foundation of Political Science or FNSP, with Roger Seydu as its first president. Though the appointment of high-ranking faculty members now required government approval, the FNSP allowed Sciences Po to retain considerable administrative autonomy. Both entities were tasked by the French government to ensure the progress and the diffusion, both within and outside France, of political science, economics, and sociology. The epithet Sciences Po was applied to both entities, which inherited the reputation previously vested in ELSP. France's legislature entrusted FNSP with managing IEP Paris, its library, and budget, and an administrative council assured the development of these activities. The curriculum and methodology of the ELSP were also the template for creating a network of institutes of political studies throughout the country, namely in Strasbourg, Lyon, Aix, Bordeaux, Grenoble, Toulouse, and then in Rennes and Lille. They are not to be confused with the seven campuses of Sciences Po in France. It was now the ENA rather than Sciences Po that fed graduates directly into senior civil service posts. However, Sciences Po became the university of choice for those hoping to enter the ENA, and so retained its dominant place in educating high-ranking officials. Topic: 1945 to 1997. Between 1952 and 1969, 77.5% of the ENA's graduate student intake were Sciences Po alumni. FNSP further strengthened its role as a scientific publication center with significant donations from the Rockefeller Foundation. FNSP periodicals such as La Revue Française de Science Politique, Le Bulletin Analytique de Documentation, La Chronologie Politique Africaine, and the Cahiers de la Foundation, as well as its seven research centers and main publishing house, Presses de Sciences Po, consolidated the university's reputation as a research hub. The Richard Deskoings era 1997 to 2012 Sciences Po underwent various reforms under the directorship of Richard Deskoings 1997 to 2012 
In these years, Sciences Po introduced a compulsory year abroad component to its undergraduate degree, and began to offer a multilingual curriculum in French, English, and other languages. It was during this period that Sciences Po added its regional campuses. Sciences Po also implemented reforms in its admissions process. Previously, Sciences Po recruited its students exclusively on the basis of a competitive examination. This system was seen to favor students from prestigious preparatory high schools or those who could afford year-long preparatory courses. In 2001, Science Po founded the Equal Opportunity Program Governing Council widened its admissions policy. This program enables the institution to recruit high potential students at partner high schools in France who, due to a social and financial constraints, would not otherwise have applied to Sciences Po. This process has been accused of being superficial and being in fact a lotto for poor people. From 2001 to 2011, the proportion of scholarship students at Sciences Po went from 6% to 27%. Descoings was accused of reigning as almighty master on his school by distributing material advantages and small envelopes, and setting up a clientelist and authoritarian carrot system. And to implement a management of fear. Topic 2013 to 2022: Reorganization and development under President Frederic Mion. Frédéric Mion, a graduate of Sciences Po, INA and École Normale Supérieure and former Secretary-General of Canal Plus, was appointed President of Sciences Po on 1 March 2013. His intention to pursue Sciences Po's development as a «selective university of international standing» is detailed in the policy paper, «Sciences Po 2022» published in the spring of 2014. The restructuring of master's study into graduate schools continued with the creation of the School of Public Affairs and the Urban School in 2015 and the School of Management and Innovation in 2016. In early 2016, Sciences Po updated its governance structure, adopting new statutes for its two constituent bodies, the Foundation Nationale des Sciences Politiques and the Institut d'études politiques de Paris This reform is, "...the most significant since 1945." and clarifies Sciences Po's governance with new rules, which address observations made by the Cour de Comptes in a 2012 report. In late 2016, Sciences Po acquired a new site, the Hôtel de l'Artillerie in the 6th arrondissement of Paris, which it intends to make the new heart of its urban campus and a seat of «educational renewal». In April 2018, Sciences Po students peacefully blocked the main entrance to the school in protest against Macron's education reforms which, while giving public universities the power to set admission criteria and rank applicants, may violate the principle of free education for all. While Sciences Po is not affected by this legislation by virtue of it being a private university, students stood in solidarity with protesters at public universities. Campuses <coughs> 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 Sciences Po has seven campuses in France. Topic: Paris Campus. The Paris Campus hosts undergraduate students enrolled in the general curriculum program, the dual bachelor's degree with UCL, as well as all seven graduate schools. 
The Paris campus is spread across several buildings concentrated around the Boulevard Saint-Germain in the 6th and 7th arrondissements districts. The historic Centre of Sciences Po at 27 rue Saint-Guillaume houses the head office and central library since 1879. It is also home to Sciences Po's two largest teaching halls, the amphitheatres Emile Boutmy and Jacques Chapsel. Other buildings include In 2016 Sciences Po purchased the Hôtel de l'Artillerie, a 17th-century former monastery located 200 metres from its campus on Rue Saint-Guillaume. The building was previously the property of the French Ministry of Defence and is 14,000 square metres in size. The university has announced its intention to refurbish the building as a major addition to its facilities in Paris. It is estimated that this project will cost around 200 million euros in total. The Hotel de l'Artillerie will house new facilities for Sciences Po's graduate programs, including a courtroom for the law school and a newsroom for the journalism school. It will also incorporate a cafeteria, study areas, and accommodation for 50 to 100 students on scholarships. Frederic Mion, the director of Sciences Po, stated his intention to create a campus comparable in quality and capacity to Sciences Po's most prominent international partner universities, such as Columbia University, the London School of Economics, and Hong Kong University. Work will begin at at the site in 2018. It is scheduled to open in 2021. Dijon campus Located in the region of Burgundy in a magnificent 19th-century building, the Dijon campus was created in 2001. Le Havre campus Located on the coast of Normandy, Le Havre has hosted the undergraduate Euro-Asian campus since 2007, recently celebrating the 10-year anniversary of the campus in September 2017. With a choice between a history, law, or economics major, students primarily choose to spend their third year abroad in an Asian country. Furthermore, Le Havre is home to six dual degree programs, and welcomes international students from over 30 countries from all around the world. Mentone Campus Established in the French Riviera city of Mentone in 2005, the campus is located in an entirely renovated 19th-century building overlooking the Mediterranean. Mentone is home to the Middle Eastern and Mediterranean Focus branch of Sciences Po. Students study in one of two tracks Anglophone, Francophone, and must take one of three core Oriental languages Arabic, Farsi, or Turkish in order to graduate. The third mandatory year abroad is spent in the Middle East with the exception of derogation and or national origin, or participation in a dual degree program. Nancy Campus Established in the region of Lorraine in 2000, the Nancy Campus is located in a prestigious 18th-century heritage site, the Hotel des Missions Royales. Poitiers Campus Opened in 2010, the campus is located in the heart of the historic city of Poitiers in the Hotel Chaboro, a renovated building dating from the 15th century. Reims Campus 
In the heart of the Champagne region, the Reims campus opened in September 2010. It is housed in the 17th century College des Jesuits. It is by far the largest of the regional campuses of Sciences Po, hosting both the Europe North America program and the Europe Africa program as well as an exchange program. In addition to the traditional undergraduate programs, the Reims campus is also host to several dual degree programs, including ones with Columbia University and the University of California, Berkeley. As of the beginning of the academic year in 2018, there were roughly 1,500 students enrolled across all three programs. In the fall of 2017, a brand new section of the campus, complete with a new cafeteria and amphitheater was opened to accommodate even more students. Education. <inaudible> 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 The academic bodies of Sciences Po consist of the University College, six professional schools, and the Doctoral School. The university also contains a library system, the Presses de Sciences Po, and holds ties with a number of independent academic institutions, including Columbia University, King's College London, the National University of Singapore, and the Sorbonne Paris Seat Alliance. Topic undergraduate level The Sciences Po Undergraduate College offers a three-year Bachelor of Arts degree with a multidisciplinary foundation in the humanities and social sciences with emphasis on civic, linguistic, artistic, and digital training. On all campuses, students choose a multidisciplinary major, politics and government, economies and societies, or political humanities. In addition, each campus offers a different regional concentration that anchors students' intellectual objectives – Africa, Asia, Europe, Latin America, Middle East Mediterranean, and North America. Sciences Po offers dual bachelor's degrees with Columbia University, Keough University, University College London, Freie Universität Berlin, University of British Columbia, the University of Sydney, the National University of Singapore, the University of Hong Kong, University of California Berkeley. Graduate level At the graduate level, Sciences Po's seven schools offer one- and two-year master's programs and Ph.D. programs. All graduate programs are delivered on the Sciences Po campus in Paris. Sciences Po also hosts dual master's programs with international partners. Students enrolled in these dual degree programs spend one year at Sciences Po in Paris and one year at the Partner University. Schools The University College, College Universitaire is the home of all undergraduate students. At the graduate level, there are six professional schools The doctoral school offers master and PhD programs in law, economics, history, political science, or sociology. The PhD program contains roughly 600 doctoral candidates. Research. Research at Sciences Po covers economics, law, history, sociology and political science, while also taking in many interdisciplinary topics such as cities, political ecology, sustainable development, socio-economics and globalization. Sciences Po is home to a research community that includes over 200 researchers and 350 PhD candidates. In 2015, 32% of the university's budget was devoted to research. 
That year, 65% of its research publications were in French, 32% in English, and 3% in other languages. The university has numerous research centers, seven of which are affiliated with France's National Centre for Scientific Research. Centre for Sociopolitical Data CDSP, which provides scientifically validated data for international survey programs. It also supports training in data collection and analysis. Centre d'études européennes C, which focuses on interdisciplinary European studies, participation, democracy and government, election analyses, the restructuring of the state and public action. Centre for International Studies Kerry, which produces comparative and historical analysis on foreign societies, international relations, and political, social and economic phenomena. Center for Political Research which investigates political attitudes, behavior and parties, as well as political thought and the history of ideas. Center for History whose research focuses on, arts, knowledge and culture, wars, conflicts and violence, states, institutions and societies, the political and cultural history of contemporary France, from local to global, international history and its levels. Center for the Sociology of Organizations CSO, which conducts research on the sociology of organizations, sociology of public policy, and economic sociology. It also studies issues related to higher education and research, healthcare, sustainable development, the evolution of firms, and the transformation of the state. Center for Studies in Social Change OSC, which conducts research on topics such as urban, school and gender inequalities, stratification and social mobility, and ethno-racial or social segregation. Department of Economics, which investigates areas such as labor markets, international economics, political economy, microeconomics and development. Law School, whose research focuses on globalization, legal cultures and the economics of law. It has also produced work on the theory and history of law, public and private international law and intellectual property. Medialab, which studies the way data generated by new information technologies is produced, circulated and exploited. Observatoire Francais des Conjonctures Economiques OFCE, which is both a research centre and an independent economic forecasting body. Its stated mission is to "...ensure that the fruits of scientific rigour and academic independence serve the public debate about the economy." In addition to these research units, the university has recently established three major research programs, the LIEPP, DIME-SHS and MAXPO. The Laboratoire Interdisciplinaire d'Evaluation des Politiques Publics analyzes public policy based on qualitative, comparative, and quantitative methods. The laboratory has been selected by an international scientific jury as a «laboratoire d'excellence» that will be financed for the next ten years by the French government. Donne infrastructures et méthodes d'enquête en sciences humaines et sociales aims to collect and disseminate data for use in humanities and social sciences research. The Max Planck Sciences Po Center on Coping with Instability in Market Societies known as Maxpo, was founded in 2012 in cooperation with the Max Planck Institute for the Study of Societies It investigates how individuals, organizations, and nation-states deal with various forms of economic and social instability. It is located at Sciences Po's Paris campus.
Topic: Network of universities. Sciences Po is part of a network of 470 universities, including Berkeley, US, Bocconi, Italy, Cambridge, England, Colegio de Mexico, Mexico, Colombia, US, Freie Universität Berlin, Germany, Fudan, China, Kyo, Japan, the London School of Economics, England, McGill, Canada, National University of Singapore, Oxford, England, Peking University University, China, Princeton, US, University of Cape Town, South Africa, and University of Sao Paulo, Brazil. In 2002, it co-founded the Alliance program in partnership with Columbia University, Ecole Polytechnique, and Pantheon Sorbonne University. Each year, this program facilitates dual degrees, exchanges and research projects for around 240 students and 80 professors, and organizes around 40 conferences in Paris and New York. In France it is supported by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the National Education Ministry, the Regional Council of the Isle de France and by private sponsors including the utility company EDF. In 2005, it established a doctoral, postdoctoral partnership program with the University of Oxford to provide a platform for comparative analysis of political systems and societies. Oxpo, as this program is now known, facilitates academic and student exchanges between the two universities, provides grants for research collaborations, and organizes joint workshops, graduate conferences, and seminars. It has a research partnership with Princeton University, providing research grants to encourage collaborative research and teaching initiatives. Sciences Po co founded the Global Public Policy. Network in 2005 in cooperation with the London School of Economics and the School of International and Public Affairs at Columbia University. The network provides dual degree programs that allow students to study at two institutions. It has since expanded to include the Hertie School of Governance in Berlin, the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy at the National University of Singapore, the Graduate School of Public Policy at the University of Tokyo and the Fundsau Getulio Vargas FGV at the Escola de Administração de Empresas in Brazil. Sciences Po is a member of the Sorbonne Paris Seat Association. Topic: Library and Publishing. Founded in 1871, the nucleus of the school's research is Bibliothèque de Sciences Po. The library offers a collection of more than 950,000 titles in the field of social sciences. In 1982, the Ministry of National Education made the Bibliothèque the Centre for Acquisition and Dissemination of Scientific and Technical Information in the Field of Political Science, and since 1994, it has been the antenna associated with Bibliothèque Nationale de France. Bibliothèque de Sciences Po is also the main French partner in the International Bibliography of the Social Sciences, which is based at the London School of Economics, founded in the 1950s. Presses de Sciences Po is the publishing house of Sciences Po. It publishes academic works related to the social sciences. Topic. Public lectures Sciences Po organizes numerous public lecture events. Recent guest speakers have included Ban Ki-moon, General David Petraeus, Condoleezza Rice, former president of Brazil Luiz Inorcio Lula da Silva, Eric Schmidt, Joseph Stiglitz, Cheryl Sandberg, Mario Draghi, UNESCO Director General Irina Bokova and Harvard University Professor Michael Sandel. Since 2007 it has organized the Franco-British Dialogue Lecture Series in collaboration 
collaboration with the LSE and the French Embassy in London. The lectures are held every term at the LSE's European Institute. Topic: <laughs> Rankings and reputation. Topic rankings for 2016-2017 The QS World University Rankings, based on English-speaking publications, ranked Sciences Po fourth in the world for politics and international studies first in France, 51–100 in law second in France, 51–100 in economics and econometrics first in France, 51–100 in social policy and management first in France 51 to 100 second in France in history 62nd in social sciences and management third in France and 44th in sociology first in France overall it ranked 220 in the world seventh in France Times Higher Education ranked Sciences Po 50th in the world for social sciences first in France for 2018. Foreign Policy magazine ranked Sciences Po 21st in the world to obtain a master's degree for a policy career in international relations in 2015 third in Europe. In the 2013 Times Higher Education Alma Mater Index of Global Executives, a ranking of an academic institution's number of degrees awarded to chief executives of the world's biggest companies, Sciences Po is ranked 81st. Reputation and criticism Due to its prominent alumni, its selectivity and its history of providing candidates for admission to the École Nationale d'Administration, Sciences Po is seen in France and abroad as an elite institution. However, it was criticized, as well as the École Nationale d'Administration, for creating in France an oligarchy of disconnected with reality, Blinkered, arrogant, and frequently incompetent people, Sciences Po is now recognized for its efforts to promote social inclusion in higher education. Central to Sciences Po's policy to diversify its student body is the Equal Opportunity Program, launched in 2001. The rate of scholarship holders among Sciences Po students has increased fourfold over the past ten years, with 27% of students now receiving scholarships or need based financial aid. The institution is partly state funded, and some have accused it of receiving a disproportionate share of public money. In 2012, a joint statement from Sciences Po Lille students representatives called Sciences Po Paris the coronation of inegalitary state. Critics have accused Sciences Po of prioritizing access to professional networks over education and expertise. As a result, the school is often nicknamed Sciences Pipo, pronounced and sometimes spelled Sciences Pipo, Pipo, meaning scam in colloquial French. This nickname has also been employed by students. The sociologist Nicolas Junin, alumnus of Sciences Po, stated that the school is an intellectual imposture and a financial hold up. The academic Jill Devers criticized the institution for being the base of the conservatism, and the mold of the mollusks that make the public elite", where, "...dissenting ideas are only admitted if they strengthen the system". The journalist at France Culture Guillaume Erna stated that the institution is, "...only advertisement and artifice". Sciences Po has also been accused of being unduly helped by the media. Almost every French newspaper is run by an almunus of Sciences Po, and most of the journalists in France are alumni from Science Po, so it would give the school 
a mediatic cover without equivalent, and permit it to cultivate a culture of secrecy about its internal affairs. Science's PO is under criticized, analyzes a professor. Former students are unlikely to criticize it. Those who teach there have no interest, and not necessarily the urge, to do so. Those who are not there can hope to be there one day." The journalist Ariane Schumer stated in 2013 that, because so many journalists come from Sciences Po, the school has an undue good public reputation. Controversies Topic: Political and financial scandals Alan Lancelot, director of Sciences Po from 1987 to 1996, was investigated for financial mismanagement by the French Court of Audit. Since 1997, the institution has been hit by a number of scandals, notably concerning the leadership of Richard Descoings, its director from 1997 to 2012, Descoings. President from 1997 to 2012, had been criticized for offering large sums of money through salary rise, free accommodation, etc., to diverse members of staff, included his wife, in spite of the fact that Sciences Po is partly stately funded. In February 2012, it was revealed that an inspector of the French Court of Audit, in charge of investigating the financial behavior of Sciences Po, was at the same time employed by Sciences Po. On 3 April 2012, Descoings was found dead in his Manhattan luxury hotel room during a trip to represent Sciences Po in New York. The police initially concluded that his death had been caused by an overdose, but the final coronary report eventually stated that he died a natural death. Descoings energy on this last day and the missing phones and computer have raised questions as to the precise circumstances of his death. In October 2012, the Court of Audit reprimanded Sciences Po for financial mismanagement, accusing it of opaque remuneration procedures, unwarranted expenses claims, and excessive pay rises for managers. The court noted that the university's complex legal status, a public university managed by a private trust, had contributed to dysfunction and waste. It also criticized the French government for increasing state funding for the university without insisting on additional public oversight. Sciences Po has also been accused to prevail results over morals. In November 2012, Hervé Crescent has been dismissed by the government, but he sought to president of Sciences Po anyway, saying that Alan Lancelot and Richard Descoings have been found guilty too, but it doesn't matter for what concerns the presidency of Sciences Po. In July 2015, Jean Claude Casanova, the former president of the Foundation Nationale des Sciences Politiques, the private trust which manages Sciences Po, was fined €1,500 for failing to properly consult the Foundation's Administrative Council over budgeting decisions involving public money. The Court of Financial and Budgetary Discipline eventually found Casanova guilty, but sentenced him with leniency because the procedures had some part of regularity and because it wasn't customary in Sciences Po to follow all the financial rules. In February 2016, the Court of Audit noted that reforms had been made but stated that greater transparency was still needed. Frédéric Mion, director of Sciences Po since 2013, defended the university's record and asked the judges to write their report again. Notable alumni and academics Alumni <laughs> 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 
Over 65,000 people have studied at Sciences Po. Alumni and former staff include 28 heads of state or government, including seven of the last eight French presidents Emmanuel Macron, François Hollande, Nicolas Sarkozy although he didn't graduate Jacques Chirac, François Mitterrand, Alain Poa though he served only as an interim president, and Georges Pompidou, 13 past or present French prime ministers, 12 past or present foreign heads of state or government, a former United Nations Secretary General, the former head of the International Monetary Fund, the former head of the European Central Bank and the former head of the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Former Portuguese Prime Minister, José Socrates, studied at Sciences Po as a doctoral student in 2012. Among the alumni are CEOs of France's 40 largest companies Frédéric Audet of Banking Group Société Générale, Michel Bon of Carrefour, Jean Cyril Spinetta of Air France, Serge Weinberg of PPR, Gerard Mestrelet of Suez, Philippe Camus of Alcatel Lucent, private bankers such as David René de Rothschild, the CEO of Lazard Italy, the CFO of Morgan Stanley Europe, the director of Credit Suisse World, co-founder, chairman and CEO of Trading Screen, and the chairman of Credit Suisse Europe as well as the current head of the European Federation of Businesses, Industries and Employers and the current head of the French Businesses and Employers Union and many others. Influential cultural figures such as the writer Marcel Proust and the founder of the modern Olympics Pierre de Coubertin also graduated from Sciences Po. Senior French diplomats, including François Delatte, currently French ambassador to the UN, Gérard Arraud, currently ambassador to the USA, Sylvie Berman, currently ambassador to Russia, Bernard Amier, currently ambassador to Algeria, Jean Maurice Ripet currently ambassador to Russia and Maurice Gordelt Montagna currently ambassador to China are also alumni topic <laughs> instructors Sciences Po is known for recruiting many former or current professionals to give lessons, allowing students to benefit from practitioners and the unique insights on current issues. Many high ranking civil servants give lectures after their daily job, at the beginning of the evening. Instructors included or still include former French Prime Minister Dominique de Villepin, former WTO President Pascal Lamy, former French President François Hollande, former French Prime Minister Jean-Pierre Raffarin, former French Foreign Minister Hubert Vadrin, noted historian Pierre Milzer, Nobel Prize laureate economist Joseph Stiglitz and former Economics Minister as well as former Managing Director of of IMF Dominique Strauss-Kahn. The philosopher, anthropologist and sociologist Bruno Latour has taught there since 2006. Emmanuel Gaillard also teaches at the law school. <laughs> <laughs> Directors 1987–96, Alan Lancelot 1997–2012, Richard Descoings 2012, Hervé Crescent 2012–13, Jean Germink 2013 present Frédéric Mion See also Association of Professional Schools of International Affairs École Nationale d'Administration Grande Écoles Grand Eight Blissements Institutes d'études politiques Paris School of International Affairs References and notes
Topic Notes Topic Bibliography Richard Descoings, Sciences Po. De la Corneuve Shanghai, Preface de René Remond, Paris, Presses de Sciences Po, 2007, ISBN 2 7246 5 Jacques Chapsel, L'Institut d'études politiques de l'Université de Paris, Annale de l'Université de Paris, N. Degree 1, 1950. Centenaire de l'Institut d'études politiques de Paris, 1872 to 1972, Brochure de l'Institut d'études politiques de Paris, 1972. A Sciences Po, Les Voyages formant la jeunesse, Monde diplomatique, Février 2006. Pierre Favre, Saint Dix Anne de cause à l'école libre des sciences politiques et à l'Institut d'études politiques de Paris, 1871 1982, These de doctorate, two volumes, 1986. Gerard Vincent, Sciences Po. Histoire d'un réussite, Auburn, Paris, 1987. Marie Estelle Leroti, L'enseignement de l'histoire à l'école libre des sciences politiques et à l'Institut d'études politiques de l'Université de Paris de 1943 à 1968, Mémoire de diplôme d'études approfondies dirigées par Jean François Serenelli, Institut d'études politiques de Paris, 2000. Anne Muxel, Direction, Les Etudiants de Sciences Po, Paris, Presses de Sciences Po, 2004, ISBN 2 7246 0937 9, Resultats d'une grande enquête menée en janvier 2002, Opera des Elives par le Savipov. Comité national d'évaluation des établissements publics à caractère scientifique, cultural et professionnel, rapport d'évaluation de l'Institut d'études politiques de Paris, September 2005. Cyril Delhay, Promotion Zep. Des Cartiers à Sciences Po, Paris, Hachette, 2006, ISBN 2-01-235949-3 External links Sciences Po FNSP and IEP Paris official English version website Histoire et politique journal published by the IEP Paris In France, a bastion of privilege no more New York Times, September 2011